Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Dumpling app to place an order so you can have a personal shopper shop and deliver the goods to you. In the first column, third down, you see Dumpling. It's a green app, and I'm going to tap it. And I'm already set in the system here, but if you tap on the top left, you go to Find Shopper, type in your zip code, and see if there's an available shopper in your area. I'm going to tap on ShopRite. I did these already, so I'm going to show you how to do them again. Tapping on the numbers, and I'm deleting them. It brings you to here. You click Add Items. On the top, in the top field, I'll start off with wheat bread. See how default information populates? And it's because the app does not support the store's inventory yet. They're planning on doing that. You can add any common grocery item or custom requests. So they set it up to make it a little easier on you, give you some default choices, but we'll say wheat, and I'm going to type in wheat bread. And you see below whole wheat bread. You can use that too, but wheat bread, I'm going to tap that. See the green circle with number one? I'm going to tap it. I'm going to add a note. I'll say wonder brand update. And I'm going to tap on the number one, and I'm going to hit the plus sign and add two. Then that'll go away. Now the personal shopper knows that you want two loaves of Wonder Brand wheat bread. I'll hit the arrow to go down. I'll clear the field. And here's a good example. I'm going to use the deli as an example because the deli confused me. You see, deli meat and cheeses. I'll tap on that. Let's see what happens. And I'll tap the green circle. I did it differently. Oh, that's a cheese tray. No, I don't want that. I'm going to tap on the number and delete it. Tap the arrow on the top left. I want deli meat. That's what I want. I'm going to tap the plus sign. Oh, that didn't go away. Well, we'll do it again. Delete. There you go. Deli meat. I'm going to tap on add note. I want one pound. All right. Store ham. Click update. Now the shopper knows that you want one pound of store ham. Even better, more specific. Thin. They know you like it. Slice thin. Then, of course, you can hit the number and add two or three if you like, whatever you want to do. Oops. Oh, that's totally forgot about that. How did I get that? Oh, I'm tapping on deli meat, the word deli meat. I'm tapping on it. Say if this was a name brand product, say Honey Nut Cheerios. You can tap the picture and take a photo or choose it from your library if you want to do it that way. Price is optional. Every location is different. Category. You can choose the category. So you can add products that way too. I'm going to go back. But now I'm going to show you. I'm going to clear this. Well, yeah, I am going to clear it. I'm going to type it again, deli, and I'm going to write cheese. And I'm going to tap it. See, deli cheese came up, tap it, it added it to the... Why isn't this wheat bread going away? It's really ticking me off. There we go. I don't want that there. I don't know why that keeps coming back. Stuff like that happens. Deli cheese. I'm going to add a note. I want store Swiss... And we'll say half pound. Update. Done. 
I'm going to use the arrow. You see the little arrow on the top left? Go down. Delete. But I wonder why. Oh, there's three. I see what I did. I want to make sure that went away. The um, product I deleted. So that's how you order, place an order in the app. I hope that helps you. And of course, you have buy again. Um, let me show you something. If I hit shop right, see on top it says add item, saved items, a buy again. You have that choice too. Prices in store inventory are estimates. Of course they are. And again, I'm going to tap, this time I'm going to tap on deli cheese. I'm going to tap on deli cheese. And that's how you can upload a picture if that's the way you want to do it. And then you can save it for future. You don't always have to start from scratch with the dumpling app. Once you get used to it, get over the learning curve, you can create a default short list that products that you need all the time, say twice a month, you know, you want a dozen eggs, you know, you want a couple of loaves of bread, you know, you need a gallon of milk and then leave the products in the list that you get every time you go food shopping and then add a few things or, you know, a lot of things. If that's what you want to do that you don't get every time that you food shop. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope this video helped you understand how to use the dumpling app. And you see on the right side of my picture, you also can text your personal shopper while they're in the store live within the app. You don't have to text them through your SMS. It happens instantly in the app. I did a shopping trip for myself to learn how to use it because I want to use it as a customer because I want to learn how to shop for my um, future customers. And I wrote, can you please add Vage yogurt medium size? I saw it was on sale. I added a product to the list. You can do that too. A personal shopper can add products to your list and they will adjust it when they cash out for you. And I wrote, yes, no problem. So you can communicate with your personal shopper that way too. And as of now, the dumpling app, as long as the store, if you have a shopper that wants to go to a, a um, smaller kind of store or, you know, a smaller privately owned store, as long as they take Visa, they can use the dumpling card, the debit card. It don't, it don't have to be a huge chain of stores. As long as the company takes Visa, the dumpling card should be accepted. I'll see you in the next video clip. And I hope that this helps you learn how to place an order and understand dumpling more. See you next time. Thank you for watching. And I hope you become a customer. Have a good one. Bye-bye.